multitasking. Um, this is what we do on a daily basis with friends, family, with children, your job, your relationships, etc. Um, another thing these women do very well is we can tolerate a lot of pain when it comes to children. Anything you have to deal with on a daily basis, we just we're just able to just deal with a lot of stuff compared to men, I would say. What I don't like, what I dislike about being a woman, mm, I mean, there's so many things I can say. I don't have something specific. Maybe be very emotional. We are a little bit too emotional sometimes. But that's about it. Besides that, I just want to say, um, we women should be strong. to answer one of three questions and I chose what is my favorite and least favorite thing about being a woman. My favorite thing about being a woman is I can be whatever I want. I can look however I want. Um, if you see me or know me, you know, most of the time I look different. I never look the same. Um, my hair is always different. Um, sometimes I wear makeup. And a lot of times now I really don't wear makeup. I don't know why, it's just the mood I'm in. And um, my least favorite thing about being a woman is double standards. Um, women are called all kind of names and belittled for doing the same thing that a man does and I don't find us fair. And yeah, that's my least favorite thing. And happy women's month. Okay, so women, my least and least favorite and my favorite thing about being a woman. I have a couple of favorite things. My least favorite thing, I think everyone would agree, is having your period and your period cramps and feeling bloated and wanting to eat everything that you shouldn't eat but you have your period so you have to eat it and then you feel fat and you get the point. That's my least favorite thing about being a woman. Um, Favorite things about being a woman. Uh, I love dressing up and feeling pretty. I love the attention I get when people notice that I'm wearing makeup because I don't normally wear makeup. And when I do, I swing. Hey. Um, I love being able to have young girls look up to me because, you know, the mother is the most important in anyone's life. And even though I don't have any kids, it still is a symbol of womanhood. Um, I love being able to be a role model for men as well, young men coming up. Uh, I love it when men covet me, when they're a little bit of staring at me right now. I ain't gonna get them in trouble. <laughs> when those girlfriend, he's not staring at me right now, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, being a woman with all of his problems that comes with it, I mean, human, humanity comes with problems, but being a woman, I really can't tell you all the things that I love about it, just because I've never been a, a man, so I just love being me. So yeah, there you have it. Morning, beautiful ladies. All right, so the question was posed to me: What is the one favorite thing that I love in being a woman? And I have to say, my strength. As a woman, we could bear a lot of things. Um, we go through a lot of things, but at the end of the day. We always stand out to be the strongest of all. And to all that's out there, whatever you're going through at the moment, just sit and reflect. It could have been worse. But I'm still here. I'm still standing. And if you do have kids, for those mothers out there, embrace the love for your kids. Put your all into your children first. Then yourself, please. Do not forget yourself, but strength. We're blessed. We are highly favored. And that's the most important thing that we have to always remember. Question number two. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think makes Caribbean women unique? Okay, so this one I had to give to some thought. And 
what I think makes Caribbean unique is simply our history and the strength I think that we've acquired based on our history. So as everyone knows, um, a lot of we all came, we came from Africa. They brought us over by force and we all just got separated based on who was on which ship. Some got carried to St. Martin, some got carried to Nevis, some got carried to Jamaica, some got carried to the U.S. and different parts of the U.S. We all have that history in common, but depending on what island you went to and the circumstances that you had to deal with in the place that you were sent, um, that I think had something to do with the strength that you acquired. And over the years, through the generations, that strength has just been passed down from generation to generation to generation. And I think we still carry that strength today. Um, not always to our benefit, but we carry that strength with us. And I think that is what makes us as Caribbean women unique, is that we, we have a lot to deal with, men and women, but especially women being minorities, we have a lot to deal with and I think that gives us a special skill and a special extra thing that we carry with us. Hey y'all, it's your girl V from Drinking Tea with V, the talk show that is basically your Sunday slumber party with a business slash entrepreneurial flair. And I've been asked to ask, uh, I've been asked to answer one of three questions and the one I'm answering right now is what makes a Caribbean woman unique? You know what I say when you walk past a Caribbean woman? It's like you smell tropical paradise. Well, honey, we embody tropical paradise. It's our warmth. It's our flavor. Because, you know, we add a sassocito, sassocito. <laughs> you know, we add seasoning to a food the same way we are spicy. We are real without necessarily being a ratchet. Okay? Because a uh, Caribbean woman put you in your place. Like, one time one time but still we operate from a place of love and inclusiveness we come in every shade shape and size okay so there's no discrimination there ah what else what else what else uh yeah the caribbean woman is absolutely 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 resilient okay by all means we put a smile on our faces even though we're going through hell and we make it look easy that is the caribbean woman okay go ahead oh um what makes caribbean women unique right? mm -hmm. okay um what do i think makes caribbean women unique first of all our historical experience it's like no other in the world you know when you look around the globe and see what the experience of caribbean women has been um, the closest similarity would be the United States of America in terms of the volume, in terms of the experience. But still, being in a space with different islands surrounded by water, we each had an opportunity to develop a little cultural differences among us, but we all know at the same time there's something called you know, the Caribbean culture. So what we have in common is that historical experience, um, the fact that we live in the same space and we you know, we do a lot of the same things depending on where we, you know, we come from. But um, I don't know how much unique that makes us in terms of the world because women are women everywhere you go. But yeah, it would be our historical experience. 